Hey guys, thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. I have a quick problem that I ran into and I wanted to share it with you, and this is based on ambient occlusion. This week I was getting ready for the medical pack launch and I was making some round table renders. On this particular model we have some glass textures which are right here and behind it we have mo text. So we just have some numbers showing up. Well, let's say that I wanted to have a little bit more ambient occlusion to make the shadows a little bit darker. A lot of the times I'll just go into the contrast in ambient occlusion and I'll kick that up. I usually do, you know, 20%, but let's kick it up to 50 just to show you exactly what's going on. And you can see already that we have a lot darker ambient occlusion around the base, a lot more shadowing. But if you look at the middle, you can see that anything with transparent glass behind it, you can't see anything anymore. I finally figured out that it is the ambient occlusion that is basically covering up all that text and shadowing it and it won't um, kind of respect the transparency and what's behind it. Well, it's a really easy fix. You just have to know exactly where to look and that is in your ambient occlusion um, settings. There's this little checkbox called evaluate transparency. Let's go ahead and click that on and do another render. And you can see that we have our text behind the glass. So this is a really annoying problem, uh, but it's a super easy fix. So I just wanna let you know it's right there. Evaluate transparency anytime you have glass or plastic or anything transparent, just make sure you check that on if you're using ambient occlusion. It's not gonna be as noticeable if you have zero contrast. The more you kick up the contrast, the worse it's gonna get. But if you do have that off, it's gonna sort of muddy whatever's behind that glass a little bit. And if you turn that on, it's gonna be a lot clearer. So just something to be aware of when you're using ambient occlusion. I hope that helps you guys out. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab and we'll talk to you next time.